Everyone, great job so far. We are now down to eight suspects. We've got them on the run. We have the list of possible habitats, so pick which one you want. Dwarf or elfin forest, seagrass meadow, which is underwater, semi-arid desert, and freshwater swamp forest. You will need to blend in. Be masters of disguise. Got it? Got it. Uh, so you're going to keep wearing those hats, hmm? They won't come off. We used Gorilla Glue. <laughs> the finalists of the Red in Fur Division were transported to the Dwarf Forest of Southern California. They met at a small water source and stared at each other. Ah! There was snorting and stomping as they tried to scare each other off. Finally, the Heart of Beast charged the kangaroo with a marsupial dodge, hopping to the side and kicking the Heart of Beast's back. The Heart of Beast was knocked to the ground. It got up, eyed the kangaroo, and then up to the retreat, fleeing the scene. The kangaroo moves on. Neither Harpy nor Sphinx was pleased with the dwarf forest habitat. The eagle could not find a tall tree. The mandrel could not find food. They saw each other. The mandrel barked a warning. I'm warning you. And lunged. The eagle launched herself at the mandrel and slashed his back with her talons. The bloodied mandrel jumped back up. The two lunged at each other again. The harpy tore furiously at the treetops to get to the mandrel. But the Sphinx monkey had had enough and crawled away out of sight of the eagle and out of the tournament. The mountain tapir and dugong were transported to the waters of a swamp forest. The tapir chilled out in the water, eyeing the local wildlife. The dugong cruised by, searching in vain for seagrass. Suddenly, it heard a squeak. Was that another dugong? No, it was a manatee nearby. The dugong swam Hello, off, baby. searching for a friend, leaving the tapir chilling as the winner. But did the dugong even know it was in March Memel Madness. in length. The sea star, meanwhile, is pretty close at 3.8 stoats long. Hey, MC! I am pleased to report that March Mammal Magic worked this time, and it brought the sea beastie finalists to the seagrass meadow in the Florida Keys. The sea star was in hot, shallow water and was not feeling good. And that was before any other predators showed up. A baby nurse shark came by and was about to chomp on the sea star. Then the anchovy came crashing into it, trying to eat the shark. They thrashed about, and in the midst of it all, a bunch of the sea star's brittle arms started breaking up. <laughs> it was way too much for the Midgardia sea star. It perished from heat and loss of arms, I guess. The anchovy wins. We now know the members of the final roar. 
What on earth will happen next? We will follow the case to its conclusion. Join us next time. I am MC Marmot, and this is the mystery of March Mammal 